filming around here a lot for Christmas, and I decided to go ahead and do my centerpiece on my table on the weekend when no one was here. And everyone who walks into my house has gone, oh my gosh, your table. And I thought, I probably should have filmed how I put together that centerpiece, because that's the hard part, right? Most of us know how to set a table. Let's take a look down memory lane, shall we, at some of the more beautiful dining room tables that I've decorated over the years. And guess what? The biggest challenge is I brought my desk downstairs from my office and placed it in this room so that I could decorate a dining room table. I've never had a dining room table in here before. And I gotta tell you, I absolutely love it. So today, you are welcome. I am going to deconstruct my centerpiece and remake it for you on camera so you'll know how to do it. All right, let's get started. If you've seen my all house walkthrough this year, you'll see that in my sunroom right over there, I have three Christmas trees this year. And look, there's three Christmas trees on these plates. Look how well that worked out. And then this charger looks amazing with my new green wall. And then the gold underneath gives it um, just the shine that brings in the gold in the painting over here, the gold in the utensils, this little bit of snowflake placemat that hangs off the side, and then this placemat here that has like a almost an um, impressionistic painting of silver on top of the off-white. Already, it's a great start, but the first step is to decide on the candles and or lighting source you're gonna use on your table. I'm gonna use my Wolford candles, and I decided to keep it simple and clean. So I'm gonna put one large one in the center and two on either side. And then I'm gonna step back and see if this gives me enough height. Now that is raised, but it's a little bit in competition with the heights of the wine glasses. So I've decided to use a crystal pedestal to raise it up. Look how that rises above the wine glasses and sets it apart as something special. Now I'm gonna start with my base. And the base is green garland. I chose this particular garland because I love the fact that it was laden with pine cones. And as you can see here, I have my pine cones on the wall that hang, these are the pine cone clusters. We have a DIY video on that. But here's what I did. You can see on the back, it's almost shaped like a half C. So I brought this halfway around. And then I have two more pieces that I can add. And I'm going to add this one over here to sort of complete this half circle. And I'm gonna do one here to bring down a very elegant, see there's a lot of space here on my table. So this gives me, I've got the liberty to do something here. So that's honestly how you start it. And for some people that might be enough. I mean, it's quite pretty. You know, you could stop there if you wanted to. Of course, I don't want to. The next thing is you're gonna add picks. And I have these really beautiful picks. Take a look at these. These are leaves that have the silver in them. And the silver, of course, takes you to that icy look looks amazing with my painting over there that I brought in this year. I did discover something really cool. When I took these out of the box this year, they were so, see how this is bent in like that? Well, they were all like that. 
And I discovered that if you turn them over, you can actually iron the backs of them and they will go flat again. So you can reuse them every year and get more traction out of it. So I'm just gonna start adding some of these picks inside of this garland. I use a total of four picks. Now when I say total, I mean on this side. I'm gonna copy everything on the other side. And then I have some additional little green pieces that have the frosted look to them. And I sort of stick these in and about. But already, I think that's starting to look really pretty. And then I go into ice. And I've had these picks for years. Let's see how many I have. I think it's helpful for you to know what all went into this. So there's two different types. There's like this black branchy look. So they have one, two, three, four, five of those. And I'm just gonna simply add them to the garland. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, seven of these little pieces. But look how just that little bit picks up the light and just looks so sparkly and icy. Now, the next step is to add colored balls. Joy to clusters have red berries in them, but I didn't have enough to put it on the table, so I thought, I'll just do red balls, little small red balls. So I put them on here, and it was absolutely beautiful. It just, once the balls got here, it was so loud, it was stealing the show. So I went, okay, pull it back, Rebecca. Now this is where I just went back to the green, bringing in the green balls, and making it much more monochromatic and more about the texture and the reflection than about, you know, green or red balls. So I take these and I just, you know, I just sort of stick them in here. That looks pretty. And then this is the softer green. And then I've got a bunch of little, little gold balls, little tiny ones. Whatever I had, I got. And I just brought them in to kind of warm it up a little bit to give it a sense of charm and the warmth from the gold silverware and placemat and I just lay them in simply and easily. I mean you can tell this isn't like brain surgery. <laughs> it's a simple way to create a really pretty dining table for your guests. Then the last thing I do is I add a frosted reindeer right over here. And I'm gonna add one to the other side as well. But look how pretty that is. All right, so we've got that. And then on this side, I have this cute little reindeer right here and there's just enough room to do it. So I think we've created a very frosted foresty winter centerpiece and uh, made it really pretty. So I hope you like this. I'm gonna go over here now and repeat the same exact thing I did over there and I hope you like how it turns out. Wonderful counselor, the mighty God, everlasting Father. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this little tutorial on how I did this centerpiece and how I combined and pulled together all of my dishes and my, my silverware and my glasses and goblets was helpful for you. I hope you took notes. If not, rewatch it again. But I wish you the best of luck when you come to pull together a beautiful table for your family for Christmas morning, Christmas night, or Christmas Eve. And I hope you're a subscriber to my channel so you get notified every time we upload a new video. And please give this video a thumbs up. I hope you leave me a comment if you have anything you wanna share. And I do try to read all of them and I do try to respond to some. So, 
Christmas is coming like a locomotive, like I always say. And you know, that's not a negative thing. That's a good thing. And I don't know what it is. We know every year it comes on the 25th. But for some of us, it always seems to take us by surprise. Why is that? <laughs> All right. I hope that these videos we've been doing really help you guys get organized, put some great thought into your decorating this year, and that your home is absolutely beautiful for the holidays. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.